Hey guys, take a minute to the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPad if it won't turn on. Now, this method that we're going to show you, you can apply it on any iPads, and hopefully at the end of it, your iPad will turn on for you. So let's get started. So if you have an iPad similar to this one, this is an iPad Mini 6 or newer ones that have the buttons on top here. You'll notice here there's the buttons here. The sequence that you want to follow, which is going to do a forced restart on this iPad, is that you're going to press and uh, release this button right here which is the volume up and then press and release the volume down button one after another and then hold this button here, the touch ID button until the iPad turns on. So I'm gonna do volume up, volume down and then I hold this button just like that and I wait till the screen turns on with the Apple logo and I let go of that button and a force restart just like that will hopefully get your iPad turned on and this method will not delete any of your personal data so it's really safe and easy to do and you can just do that. Now similarly if you have iPad Pro maybe one of the bigger iPads like this one here where the buttons are on the top and on the side here you're gonna follow the same exact method here we're gonna do volume up or volume down and then the top button here and you're gonna keep on pressing holding the top button after pressing the volume up and down and as you can see here Apple logo shows up I let go of that button and this iPad is turning on for me now if you have an older iPad that doesn't does 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 have a home button all you'll do is press the top button here or the power button and the home button at the same time and until you see the Apple logo appear just like that and you let go of it and your iPad will be working just like that simple as that a force restart is one of the best troubleshooting step you can do when it comes to fixing your iPad. Now, if it's still not working and you're having issues where your iPad still doesn't turn on, the next thing you wanna check out is the charging cable and the wall adapter that you're using. Many times these two parts can get faulty and you might be thinking you're charging the iPad but it's actually not charging it. So I recommend if you have a different charging cable and a wall adapter, try a different combination to see if that fixes it. And it could be just that your iPad is out of charge and these things are faulty, which sometimes it can happen over time because you know these things break as well so try different charging cable and the wall adapter and see if it charges and turns on generally if iPad is turned off and it's getting charged it'll automatically turn on so go ahead and check that as well now for the third step that you are going to do you're going to need uh, either computer or a MacBook with iTunes on which I'm going to show you in a second. So for the last troubleshooting step if you have a computer or a MacBook you can actually download the iTunes app which is free app from Apple. You can go in to a browser and type in iTunes. It will take you to Apple's website so you can download the iTunes program and you can connect your iPad to your computer and see if you can do a software update. This may or may not work depending on the state of it but sometimes we see that it connects to your computer so you'll take your cable, right, USB-C cable for this mm, this iPad but you know whatever cable that you have and connect it to your computer and then if you connect it if you have a new MacBook like I do here for example this one I can click over here and if it detects it it should be allowing you to go ahead and do a software update if there is a software update available that could potentially fix your iPad so either on your MacBook you use the finder and it'll connect like that and you'll set it up as a backup and then for example this one I'll set it up and I'll show you there's an update button right I can update it here and for Windows or other PC that doesn't have the newer version of the finder you can just download it for your MacBook and it will be same exact prompt as well as there should be an option to update it and after you update it I hope your iPad works now and it does turn on if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time